Hey YouTube, this is Everything You Pan here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 3683 in VirtualBox. Um, so Windows Longhorn 3683, this is one of the earlier builds of the Longhorn series, so it kind of has still that XP skin to it, but uh, the theme changes were that the it's kind of more of a blue theme with the taskbar being blue and having a notifications and gadgets thing on the right side as well adding it to it you'll see a new background as well so this is a milestone three build so um but of course you're going to have to install ms-dos 6.22 as a result of this um for some reason virtualbox doesn't have like a virtual bios so you can't change the uh, bio state um through virtualbox you um kind of have to do through MS-DOS and I haven't been able to get it to work without installing MS-DOS and changing the date. So um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. But before we get into the tutorial, I want to give a quick shout out to um, Vicnatic. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Gave me a shout out in his video. I mean, um, I didn't even expect this. I mean, this was a while ago and I was looking through my comments. And um, so if you guys could go ahead and uh, check out his channel and um, subscribe to him that'd be great I'll leave a link in the description and you can go ahead and check out his uh, YouTube channel so I just wanted to give a quick shout out since I saw that um, so thank you man for the shout out I appreciate it um, so getting into the tutorial here we're gonna go ahead and create a new virtual machine call it Longhorn 3683 and then we're gonna change the type to Microsoft Windows and then change this to Windows XP 32-bit. Click Next. And I'm going to bump up my RAM to 1 gig. Click Next. We're going to create a virtual hard disk now. Click Create. Leave it at VDI. Click Next. Dynamically Allocated. Click Next. And then you can leave this at 10 gigabytes and click Create. Now in your settings before installing MS-DOS, of course, there's not going to be a floppy here. So what you're going to do is go to this storage controller here click add floppy controller and then click this plus here and then choose the first disk for MS-DOS so um, I'm gonna go through the first part of the installation and then I'll be back with you guys once we hit the date screen to do the bio state but this will be included in the description with the ISO um, and the product keys so um, I'll be right back so here we're now at the date screen um, so what we're gonna do in here is um, we're going to uh, change the date here. I'm going to change the time as well, just in case this uh, goes past um, to midnight. So I'm going to change it to about 10 o'clock. Right now it's about, or actually 8 o'clock. Right now it's about 11.45. So the bio state here, um, we're going to have to change this. And we're going to be changing this bio state to um, September. 24th 2002 so just put 02 here and then click enter and continue with the uh, MS-DOS setup so I'll be right back with you guys I'll leave a link in the description for this tutorial on MS-DOS so I'll be right back so now we have MS-DOS installed um, so now we can go ahead and insert the ISO which is right here 3683 it'll be renamed to Windows Longhorn 3683 so um, just go ahead and go up to machine here and click reset I'll say press any key to boot from the CD. Go ahead and do so. And then it's going to come up with this normal Windows setup blue screen here, like the Windows XP setup. But you'll see um, in the boot, um, the boot screen will be a Windows XP boot screen. You'll see after we get finished with this part of the tutorial what I'm talking about. So that'll come up with the setup notification. Go ahead and just click enter on this. Click enter to set up Windows Now, then click F8 to agree to the terms, and then there's going to be two different partitions here, one that has MS-DOS installed on it, and then the other one that has just unpartitioned space. Go ahead and click on unpartitioned space, or otherwise this will not work. Then go to NTFS file system quick, let's go to format the partition, and it's going to do a disk check, and then it's going to copy the files over from the um, ISO to the 
hard drive. So um, go ahead and just let this sit here for a little bit. It's going to do some things, and uh, I'll be right back when we restart. Okay, so it's now rebooting, and do not press any key to boot from the CD now. Um, and then it'll automatically choose, let's call it, it says XP Professional. And you can see that the copyright date has changed to 2003 over here because of the um, build that this is. It's one of the early builds, which the 180-day um, um, time uh, evaluation will end in 2003. So that's why the copyright date is so, so... Um, now it's going to basically, it's going to look exactly like Windows XP right here, but you'll see the changes when it comes to the desktop. So now it's going to do the um, installing devices part here. And um, so it shouldn't take too long, so I might be able to stick with you guys until this is coming up here with this screen. So it'll keep going through installing devices. And then once it's finished with installing devices, it will pop up with a screen that'll do some things with the regional and language options. Go ahead and click next on this. After you've selected your specified language and region, go ahead and type in any name and click next. And now this is where you enter in the product key. So I'm going to enter this in quick. This will be included with the ISO in the description. So I'll be right back. So I've got the product key entered in and I'm going to um, type in the computer name here. I'll just name it Longhorn3683. Don't have to type in administrative password. Then go ahead and click next. And then there you go. It says uh, it's September 24, 2002. It's, uh, I changed the time to uh, 8.50 p.m. And we'll just click next after selecting the uh, time zone. And it's going to do installing network. And then just leave it on typical settings and hit next. Leave this as no in work group, hit next, and now it's going to copy files and do installations of Longhorn3683. So just let this sit for a bit, and I'll be back with you guys once we hit our next restart point. So when the installation is finished, if this comes up, do not worry, it's okay, um, because it says the errors will not prevent Windows from running. So if you click yes, it'll just come up with some errors here, it's okay. Um, you can still reboot just fine. And right now you could probably take out the ISO. So that will not boot from the CD. Go ahead and choose Windows XP Professional here that it says, even though it's a Longhorn build. And then it'll load up. There you saw quickly in the bottom right, it said, there it is, Longhorn XP Professional, build 3683. Now it's going to do the display settings here, so click OK on that. And it should come up with the rest of the setup here. I think it has a different kind of music or something in the background that it plays while this is going. Not like the normal Windows XP music for this step. You'll see what I'm talking about here when it gets to that point. And you see the copyright date changed from 1985 to 2001, so they didn't change everything when it came to this um, build. So you'll be at this please wait screen for a little bit. eventually after a little bit it should load you up. I'm just kind of sticking with you just maybe in case you guys are wondering what's going on in this step, maybe why it's taking so long. So now we're finally hitting this and listen to this music. It's quite the music they have here so Click next. It's going to check for internet. Leave it on yes. Click next. Click no. And next. Did I 
type in any name here and click next and click finish and it will log you in. You see it's got the time and the date up on there. It's on print. Still got the Windows XP log on and log off sounds. So, um, so if I log off here, for example, still has the log off screen. You see, see it says Windows code name Longhorn um, right here. So that's kind of neat. So we'll go ahead and log back in. And there we go. So you see that this bar down here has changed to a blue theme and the flag has changed to all white. And then this is more of a blue theme as well. The windows are themed here. So, um, yeah, so that is my video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 3683 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, leave a like on this if you enjoyed it and if this helped you out. And uh, I'm definitely going to be doing more Longhorn tutorials in the future since the MS-DOS um, trick works. So leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, comment your ideas down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.